Hi everyone, this is Chen Chen Ji. I'm applying for the photography MA course at Kingston University London. Currently, I'm a professional accountant working remotely in China. And at the same time, I have been engaged in part-time photography for five years. As the time went by, my feeling about photography become increasingly strong. Therefore, I start to dig in by project shooting. And all of the ideas is actually come from my daily life. Um, for example, the three for project in my portfolio. The project one, uh, the environment project named the ghost town in the Arctic was taken in Svalbard Arctic. Uh, when I was traveling there, I found a coal mine city um, abandoned just near the glacier. So I made this project trying to arouse people thinking about this kind of phenomenon. And the project two, Eating Disorders, is actually come from my housemate, Zuo, who has fight with eating disorder for a few years. And he told me that eating disorder didn't be, uh, didn't get enough attention from the society. And as a male patient himself, he didn't get the enough treatment he need. Therefore, I made that project trying to uh, popularize eating disorder as a mental illness and also at the same time trying to arise people's attention about male patient. And project three, uh, depression, is actually come from myself. Um, as a patient myself, I know how hard to fight with it. Therefore, I made this project from the patient perspective, trying to show how um, the real depression is and also at the same time trying to um, trying to encourage all the patients to be brave and fight with it. Um, I'm keen on learning a true knowledge in photograph and I um, understand this course is not a commercial course it's a research lead in photography course Actually, I found this course is quite suitable for me because my uh, career plan is to become a photographer, uh, become a documentary photographer. Therefore, I think this, this research lead uh, uh, MA course will enable me to uh, study in all subjects and expand the, as an artist to expand the meaning of photographic. Mm. Speak of my relevant experience, I have some few, uh, so I will point out the following three. The first one is uh, when I was in the university, I spent two years working voluntarily in Longquan Temple. Uh, working as a photographer there, uh, my task is about shooting the monks' daily life and the Buddhist activities. As this kind of activity, I can, I cannot disturb the monks, so I can only shoot in from a distance. Therefore, I believe this uh, experience gave me the um, ability to become a documentary photographer, because uh, they are the same. They are they have the same requirement. Do not disturb the subject to shoot the real things and from an onlook perspective. The second experience was uh, when I doing part-time photography in Beijing Renai Charity Foundation. My first connect with Beijing Renai Charity Foundation was uh, when I was in university to raise funds for the uh, for the students in the poor area of China. After that, uh, I become their part-time uh, photographer, mainly responsible responsible for the activity shooting. Activities include the donation ceremony and uh, the events like uh, visiting elderly in the nursery house and uh, the event like sorting and recycling old clothes, etc. And I believe this activity, this experience, give me the um, 
give me the practical experience of photography and also it developed my um, off-campus communication and teamworking skills. The most recent one is the third experience, Dancing Night 2020, which was held by the Greenwich University students raise funds for the East London dance um, after being appointed it by the Mm, after being appointed to be, become their photographer, I'm mainly responsible for all the all the photography work. Uh, the work includes the promotional photography and uh, the stage shooting, the behind the shoes behind the scenes shooting, and the mm, photo editing. This kind of experience actually um, let me understand that stage shooting is quite different from the activity shooting because stage shooting have so many vibes. Even we had rehearsal, a lot of accident still happens during the uh, during the stage. So uh, sufficient, so sufficient preparation and. Uh, the ability to handle all the changes are essential in that case. Uh, speak of my proposal, the impact of uh, woman, the impact of sexual assault on women. Uh, the idea is actually come from the death of Sarah Everett, um, a girl who was raping and killed by a policeman on her way home. This case is actually um, a rise uh, national impact in the UK. A lot of women stand out to trying to fight for their own rights. And as a woman photographer myself, I think I have the responsibility to stand out to fight with it. So I intend to spend my 17 months course to develop this uh, project. I develop my project into three stages. Stage one will take around three months to do some further research and uh, search for the subject. Stage two will take around 10 months to, um, to do the subject and photo shooting. And stage three will take around uh, four months, uh, will be the final editing and the presentation of my final work. In, and finally, I believe I'm the I'm a qualified uh, candidate for this course because um, my first uh, MA course, my first uh, master degree give me the ability to learning give me the skills to learning um, and uh, give me the research skills, communication skills, and group working skills, which is needed in the second master. I think that all these skills can make me study more efficient in your university. And uh, three years abroad, uh, three years learning abroad and one and a half years working in the London made me uh, a made me more adaptable, adaptable for the overseas learning and studying. And the most important things is I have five years part-time experience in photography. Also, I'm really passionate about photography. So I am sincerely hope you can consider it my application. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.